Hey guys, welcome to another video of Power Automate. So, in previous video, we have seen the interview questions and answers, and today we will see this one will be a short video. Uh, in this video, we will see the environment variables in Power Automate. Right, so if I go and search with the environment, so there are three options set, get, and delete environment variables. So, environment variable uh, can be defined as the variables which change from one environment to another environment. So, let's say you have your code on some environment and you move your code, code from one environment to another environment, then there are some variables which ought to change. For example, uh, your username changes when you move code from one environment to another environment. Uh, sometimes your drive changes sometimes the one drive path changes so these are some path you know the dev url and prod url are different so that also changes so that values vary from uh, one environment to another environment those are the environment variables so basically <coughs> environment variables are stored in the environment if i go and search with the environment so here if you see environment variables so he, these are the variables so these are the user specific and these are the system variables Okay, so these will remain same on all the systems except this and uh, these are the user specific variables. So if I want to <coughs> fetch this drive path, so in this, this is HP and OneDrive and in another system it could be different. So if I just click cancel here and I say okay get set get environment variable and I search for OneDrive. So here we have the value of this environment variable. Also, we can set some environment variables and use them. So if I go here and if I create new, we, I can give that config path and I can give C users path. And if I so this is a user variable. <coughs> this is the variable I get. If I want to delete the environment variable, this is a type and this is a user variable, then I can just run it from here. And it will be deleted now if i run it this config path okay so it says that this variable does not exist similarly what we can do is we can set the environment variable also so to you know set a new path to one drive then i can do the path also okay so this is what the environment variable in power automate Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Happy automation.